Are you hiding in a cave, feeling hunted, hated, and maybe all alone? Welcome to the Daily Devo. I am Vince Miller. This week, we're in chapter 22 of 1 Samuel. I've titled this chapter, From Caves of Distress to Community Connections. But first, don't miss the drop of the new Vince Miller Show at the link below. We hope you'll be praying for it as we try to reach more people with the gospel Back to the Devo. (laughs) Yesterday, David was acting like a madman in Gath, which was a pretty short-lived retreat for him. Today, David is going to run to a new location. So let's see where he goes in 1 Samuel chapter 22, verses 1 through 2. It reads, David departed from there, that's Gath, and escaped to the cave of Adullam. And when his brothers and all his father's house heard it, they went down there to him. And everyone who was in distress and everyone who was in debt and everyone who was bitter in soul gathered to him and he became commander over them. And there were with him about 400 men. (laughs) So Adullam was about 10 miles southeast of Gath. And just for kicks, I'm going to put a little map up over here somewhere, maybe. (laughs) So he has gone back into the hills, yet still 20 plus miles south of Gebeah, where Saul was, Ramah, where Samuel was, and Nob, where Ahimelech were, or where he had previously been. So this puts him back into Israelite territory, but far enough away so that his enemy, Saul, would have a hard time getting to him in the foothills. And in the cave of Adullam, Dave is met with two great foes, distress and bitterness, distress and bitterness. And these two words are potent here in this text, dripping with emotion. And if you want to see how David experienced these emotions, all you got to do is go back and read a couple of his journal entries in Psalm 57 and Psalm 142, which if you feel this way today, you should read because they recount David's cry to the Lord during this very lonely time of his life. At some point, every believer will feel like David felt in that cave. Now, we might not be hunted down by an enemy king (laughs) or have an army pursuing us like David was, but we will still feel the same distress and bitterness. We will feel like we're sitting in a lonely, dark, cold cave alone. And in this distress, we should call upon the Lord, cry out in emotion to God, just like David did. In fact, if you feel this way, you need to read those two Psalms today and cry out with the same emotion, knowing that you are not the only believer who has ever felt this way. But here comes the good news. God heard David's cry, and he sent a massive community to the rescue. In the cave, God supplies relationships for David. He is reunited with his family, the same family that seemed almost to desert him in the early chapters of 1 Samuel. They finally come to him. These are the same brothers who used to tease him and the father who gave him over to the service of a now-possessed king. These relationships for him had to be overwhelming comfort. Regardless of past hurts and hang-ups, they all came and attended to the soul of their son and brother. In the cave, though, God also supplies resources for David. God supplied him with 400 men, 400 like-minded men who felt his distress, knew the injustice, knew the impression, and were willing to risk aligning with him and going forward with him as well. I assume this also included even the older brothers who used to tease him. So don't underestimate what God will do with you in your cave. I know David was literally being hunted down and found refuge in an actual cave, but your cave is no different. It is filled with the same distress and bitterness. Your soul knows the same loneliness that David felt. If you are in the cave with David, call on the Lord who rescues and provides relationships and resources, relationships and resources to those who call upon him. Never underestimate what God might do with you in the cave. God might be mounting an army of relationships and resources to rescue you. 
God, I just want to pray for every soul out there today who is distressed and bitter. In the cave, come to them, provide them with the relationships and resources that only you can provide that they need. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you guys. I pray this has blessed you. If it has, share it with someone else. I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.